Hey guys, welcome back to the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, I'm not at the trailer yet. Still waiting for uh, Mother Nature to get rid of the snow. Um, I'm doing a little uh, gardening experiment here. Um, my uh, two liter uh, that I had spinach growing in didn't really turn out. We had like an aphid attack going on. So I'm going to try this uh, mini, uh, it's called the Crakey method, where you'd have a container and you fill two inches of um, liquid fertilizer into it, the rest with water, and then I'm going to use a rock saw um, wick in the top, and that's where the seed gets planted onto once this is pushed down about into the, in just tight into the lid cap. And basically this will be filled up with fertilizer about two inches. The rest with water all the way to the top. This will, the rock saw, which is insulation, will uh, wick up, get nice, nice and moist for the seedling to start growing. And then once it really takes off, the roots will go down and start absorbing lots of water. And as it absorbs water, it'll introduce an air space in between the water and the feet and the fertilizer there so as it keeps growing it'll the top of the roots will get more air and it'll still be chasing the water down to the bottom and hopefully in a couple months I will have some nice uh, results out of this and um, it's it's hopefully I'll get a cost valuation for this see how much the fertilizer costs I'm using the Miracle Grow Quick Start starting starting solution plant food for flower and vegetables. So um, I'm adding more than recommended in here because I want to try the uh, method out. So um, I'm going to have cucumbers in the 2.5 liter container. Um, I'm going to try spinach again in the 2 liter, and then in this one I'm doing broccoli and a 2.5 liter so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started so uh, I'll, sh I'll show the parts in little sections here without editing out I got a little ruler here so I can get my two inch levels for each bottle so I'll uh, cut this and show you what happened alright guys so this is what it looks like uh, with water added I kinda filled this that was my first bottle filled it quite a bit it so it might overflow a bit so I'm gonna stuff this stuff in there see what happens um, hopefully everything turns out I'm gonna do this right now yeah we got a little spillage going on here but that's the way it is experiment so I'll leave it right there Could take my bigger chunks and put them in the bigger bottle here. So the rock saw's in, and that's where it stays. Hopefully. Oops. Yep. Yeah. And supposedly, rock saw, when wet, keeps its form and shape. So we don't want it to move out of that position. So that's good. We'll let the water absorb in there nice and then I'll just drop the seeds in each one. I'll have to label everything because once the plastic's on, I won't be able to tell which is one's which. So I'll put a little label on there and I'll keep going and showing you how that goes. Alright guys, in my windowsill here, um, got everything tagged and bagged. Cucumber in the front, spinach here, and broccoli here. I put a couple seeds in each. Because uh, sometimes you don't get uh, seedlings to hatch. Um, my spinach is looking rough from my first experiment. Um, the wick does work. But I think I had a an aphid problem or something. Because uh, maybe some experts out there can tell me. But I know algae isn't helping. Um, I should cover that up and then what I do is I have my I have some uh, rosemary from the garden last year and 
mint here as well. And there's they survived. The parsley didn't. And I don't think the basil did either. So uh, what I do is I have my emergency blanket here. Oh, I gotta find the end. Here it is. With a weight on it. Um, I just have one of these uh, chip bag clips. And I put this up over the window. Like so. And that just hangs on there. And it kind of keeps this room a little darker for when I have chances to sleep in. And it'll help hold some of the heat. This register is partially open, so it is getting some warmth. And then it's getting all that daylight and reflecting back and forth between the windows. So, see how bright it is compared to the room. Um, yeah, so right now that'll be the experiment. See how many, see what we get out of it. Check back in a couple months or as it gets, uh, as it grows here, we'll see any surprises and stuff. I did use that um, whole bottle up because there wasn't much left. So I put some water in it and shook it up. You can hear it. And that washes all the walls off of that fertilizer because some of this stuff's expensive. So um, I'll save that for later. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. That's it for out for uh, for now, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll show you the snow outside here. Hopefully, this stuff goes away so I can get back to work on the trailer. It's going to be a busy spring and summer. I know that because once this stuff's gone and the mud and muck's gone, I'm going to be out there pretty hard. So um, that's it for now.